Wealth building. Mm. It's important. Yes. If you want to break free of the chains and bonds of society-ness. With Cody Sperber and Chris Crone. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Cody Sperber, the Clever Investor here, and today we got a special guest. Chris Crone. Chris Crone is in the house. Now, if you guys don't know Chris, um, this is going to be a really great video for you because Chris is one of the most successful real estate investors in the game. Been doing this a really long time. What, 15, 16 year veteran? 17 years. 17 Crazy year veteran. long time. And um, what I love about Chris is he really has created a niche um, within the industry for himself. He's done over four thousand transactions which is not a lot it's i mean it's a freaking lot a lot it's a ton a lot it's a ton a lot and um uh he's a buy and hold guy he's a wealth building guy he's got he's got like that long-term vision where he's like you know what i'm gonna create my own financial destiny i'm gonna do it through real estate and he's really cracked the code on it um, a lot of you guys come to me because you know i show you guys how to actively invest in real estate um, but you also hear me constantly telling you that you need to cherry pick out the better deals that you come across and mm. keep them yes. to build long-term wealth. And why do I keep doing that and keep having those conversations with you is because I want you guys to level up your financial intelligence and really have full control over your future. So many of us live our lives taught to think about money and making money a certain way and building wealth a certain mm. way. And unfortunately, the way society teaches a lot of us, it limits people's full potential. And here we want to unlock your full potential. So I wanted to, you guys to get to know Chris. So, Thank you, man. I appreciate um, it. Thank you. Here, just to get everybody on the same page. Yeah, so just break down, who is Chris Crone? Yeah, so I mean, super long story short in just two minutes. Uh, Chris Crone's a kid that actually wanted to become a doctor. And then by the time I got into college, I quickly got disappointed and disenchanted with the way everything looked. It was all these science classes, which Frankly, I had been a good student up to that point, but not good in chemistry. And mm. I listened to my financial advisors that said I was never really gonna make it that way. And I believed them. Before I believed them, I actually retook chemistry and did it a second time. And instead of getting a C, after hiring a tutor and going out again, I got a C minus. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I get it. This is not my deal. Um, but you know, crazy thing is that I found myself in college um, with these mentors in real estate. And I said, you know what? The education I need isn't gonna come from the university. It's going to come from self-education and edu educating with people where I can model successful individuals. And um, I mean, by the time I graduated college, I had bought 25 homes. They were producing about $12,000 a month residually, so I quit my job. So it was kinda cool, I graduated college and I didn't, instead of most people like leaping into the workforce to get a job, I didn't need one. And it's because I unlocked this, this idea. I had done some flips, but I found that if I bought a house and let's say I made three, four, five hundred dollars a month on it, that even though I couldn't retire on 500 bucks, I asked myself how many houses would I need to have so that I could. And four years later, 25 homes later, that six figure basic income, it bought me freedom to say, hey, I don't really know what I wanna do with my life, but at least I don't have to go and follow society's game plan or one that doesn't really work for me. So that freedom was super meaningful. Now, you went on to build like this massive empire, but like, right. just imagine that for a second. And by the way, if you don't know a lot about uh, the benefits of owning real estate, we'll put a uh, uh, another video where we break down some of the benefits up here, somewhere up here, click that and, and check that out. So here you are now, you, you have a portfolio. Yeah. And you, have you always had such like a long-term vision where you were like, you know, cause I'm so active. I'm like, I'm such a, yeah. like a deal junkie that like, I want to like get in there and like feel the rush of like negotiating, getting the yes, flipping the paperwork, going totally. to the bank, cashing the check. Like how do you control it? Well, dude, so for me getting in the de de the details of the deal was really exciting at first. But one of the things that I always did is I always loved to interview the people that were years ahead of me and I wanted to know what they thought after doing something for a long period of time. So like for example, I got into real estate because I had this crappy telemarketing job that did give me the privilege of talking to people that had gone to college 30 years before and they were no closer to financial freedom 30 years later. I'm like, college degree is not gonna do it. But I talked to some of my flipping buddies and one of my buddies had flipped 283 homes and was making great money on each one of them. And he had been doing it for like 15 years and he was so burned out. And he said, Chris, 
I wished that I had a pile of homes that would just set me free to do nothing if I wanted or go on vacation, but I actually have to do my next deal because I didn't balance out the quick mm. active money with the past money. I thought, huh, how will I feel 10 or 20 years from now if I've done all this real estate but don't have anything to show for it except for having lived an amazing lifestyle? And that's really what compelled me to figure out the long game of, hey, I wonder if I can find just as much joy and excitement out of finding an amazing deal, but instead of flipping it for quick cash, it's a little bit of cash flow, but it will stack if I keep doing it. And today, I'm buying a house just about every single day of the year. You're also you know, known as one of the you know, largest real estate educators. You coach and mentor people and that kind of stuff. Dude, it's joyful. I love doing it. When, you know, I, I think how lucky I feel that I got out so early in life and I'm like, man, why aren't more people doing this? And it inspired me to put my YouTube channel and some other things together because once in a while, someone will stumble across it and then I run into them a year or two later and they have way more wealth or financial freedom and it's totally changed their stars and that alone is, it's worth it for that. That's awesome. So why don't we get into like some nitty gritty stuff? Yeah. I would love for you to like, just kind of like take over a little bit. Okay. Um, how would you guys like if Chris went over to the digital whiteboard and just kind of help us get inside your mindset. Say please. Get inside your mindset <laughs> of a successful yeah. wealth building type of Yeah, investment. no, absolutely. Let's do it. Guys, come follow me over here. Uh, I'm using this for the very first time, so I hope I don't screw up, man. Um, so here's what really got me into the long-term game of making money in real estate is that most people, when I was at this telemarketing job, I'd interview them and I'd be like, okay, got it. You listen to society, you got a degree, you have a good paying job, you're earning better than average. So what are you doing? And this is what everyone would do. They would say, well, I'm putting some money in a 401k. And I said, okay, what else? Well, I'm putting money in an IRA. And I said, okay, what else? And I said, and I said well, I'm trying to pay off my debts and I'm also trying to pay off my house. And I looked at that and I said, okay, so you're trading all your time for money and with the money you get, you're contributing to a 401k, an IRA, paying off your house, maybe putting some money in the stock market. And I, I started picking up some patterns. I said, well, how much does your 401k pay you? And you know what they said? Nothing. And then I said, well, what about your IRA? What does that pay you every month? They said, nothing. I was like, what about the money the, that you put into the equity in your house? What does that pay you? Nothing. I'm like, so let me get this straight. Society's game plan is to lock up all your assets that someone else controls and if you try to touch it, bam, they're gonna slap you and penalize you and say, uh-uh, you can't do that. But you can run the math and at retirement, I mean, let's just say theoretically that you had $200,000 in a 401k, that's way bigger than average. Let's say that you had $100,000 in an IRA, also way bigger than average. And let's even give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you paid off your house and you know, owe nothing on it, but it's worth $300,000. This person has a net worth of 200, 100, 300. They have a $600,000 net worth and they've paid off their debts. You're doing way better than the average American. But you know what the problem is? Dude, check this out. Your house is paid off. So that feels really good, but you can't live just on no debt. You still have to buy food. You want to travel. You want to take vacations. You've got medical. You want to go visit the grandkids. That stuff costs money. So you start blowing through your 401k and your IRA. And when you do, you're thinking, oh no, I can't do that. I'm going to give it to the financial planner. I'm going to annuitize it. And the annuities are going to pay you like 4%. What's 4% on $300,000? It is a pathetic little tiny amount of money. And because you can't live off of a couple of grand, you start eating your 401k IRA because you had been accustomed to spending, let's call it $60,000 a year. How long is this going to last? This money is going to last you, well, 60,000 goes into 300,000, um, you know, roughly 60, 120, 240, five years. So in five years, the money is gone. Are you dead in five years? No, modern medicine is going to keep you alive for decades uh, longer. So you're like, well, now I have to sell my house. I thought I had security. And then I'm going to blow through that money in five more years. And what do you have? Dude, you got to plan your death day. It's depressing and it's sad and people know. So even when people are doing way better than average, it doesn't work. Um, one of the things that I ha have found is that real estate ends up being a really awesome replacement. For example, I'll help people say, take that 401k, pay your tax, pay your penalty. And you know what you should do with that? That 200,000, even after paying 30% taxes and 10% penalties, what can you do? You can go put that in four properties and every month those properties are going to pay you money. What could you do with the IRA? You could take that, self-direct it, avoid taxes and penalties, buy yourself a paid off home. 
And by the way, you paid off your house prematurely. How do I know that? Because you don't have an active income to live off of. So you take that 300 grand and you turn that into six more properties. Now look at what we got here. We got a paid off property. We've got 11 other properties. And I take people into the very best markets in the United States. That's why I've done 4,000 of these. We're averaging well over 20% a year on our money. And you know what that means? It means that we're doubling our assets every five years. So instead of in 10 years, like I showed you before, running out of everything, what could you do with 11 houses? Well, one, in five years, you turn them into 22 homes. And then in five more years, they double again. You have 44 homes. And let's just say for a moment that those 44 homes are producing three, four, five hundred dollars a month. Can you live off of a six-figure residual income? Yeah, see, you invested in assets that grow. And Cody, that's the thing that people aren't getting is that people are pissing, sorry, can I say that? They're, they're, they're wasting their money and they're throwing it into things that actually deteriorate with time instead of actually putting it into assets that build and grow and produce a residual income. So I find most people, Cody, that when they retire, they would love to have a six-figure residual income. It's not total financial freedom, but it is a start. And that's just the beginning. If someone wants to go faster, then we get creative. Like, how do I buy real estate with no money? How do I buy real estate with no credit? How do I defy the banks? How do I defy the system? I mean, dude, if I can buy 25 homes as a poor broke kid with no money in the bank in four years during college, the next year I doubled it to 50 and then I started buying hundreds of homes and it led to thousands. So really it's about creating an alternative financial plan that can help people have a real shot at a real retirement, at a real life. And don't wait to live life until you're in your 50s and 60s. Do it now. And if you see this and it clicks and you don't do anything about it, shame, shame on you. <laughs> because that's the problem right now is there's so many people get presented great opportunities and they never take advantage of them and they live their whole lives playing it safe yeah. and following the rules. Dude, but that's the riskiest and, thing you can do. And then you get to the end of your life and you're there and, and, and you're looking back and your eyes are filled with a massive amount of regret. So, um, listen, man, you brought in the freaking heat. Dude, that, I'm excited. I knew, I knew he would. Great. I knew he would just take Thank over. You. He's got, he's such an amazing educator. So listen, a um, couple things. First off, down below this video, um, you have a book. I right. do. It teaches people how to build wealth. It teaches them how to this, build wealth. Tells your story in a little step. bit more detail. Um, I'm going to put a link down below for Chris's book. It's a, an amazing book, a great read. Um, you're going to be able to sit down and bust the whole thing out, and it's really going to open your eyes. And that book is actually free. We're going to send you a physical copy in the mail. We just ask that you cover shipping, and then it's yours. Boom. Um, so that link will be down below. I'll also put a link to his YouTube channel. Um, how many subscribers? You got a lot of subscribers. We got, we got, quite, we got hundreds of thousands, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. it, it's crazy. So it's great, great channel to follow. And uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below. We, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. All right. What and if you number? hate this, yeah. say so. Then Cody yeah, won't, leave invite, a comment down below. He won't invite me back. You know, it's funny because <laughs> I've been telling people lately, like or dislike my videos. Yeah. And it's funny because I'm getting uh, uh, a lot more dislikes. And, you know, <laughs> but it's good. It's real at least, right? I want you guys yeah. to tell me what you guys want and uh hopefully you like this one and subscribe to the channel and i don't have anything else that's all i got awesome let's, guys let's sign, let's sign off i'm cody Spurber, the clever investor here with chris crone all right until next time guys we're out of here take care comb your hair peace bye-bye